Hello and welcome. We're speeding a little bit ahead now into the late 30s and today I want to discuss clock cleaners which is another Mickey, Goofy, and Donald short that was it released in 1937. And this one I remember a little bit vaguely. I think I've seen clips of it before, especially the beginning, but I haven't sat down and watched it in its entirety until now. And the, so again, very simple plot. These are all more episode driven shorts compared to having a full narrative like I've mentioned in the past and they will continue to be this way I'm sure but this one I just wanted to pick one that focused on Donald, Mickey, and Goofy together antics because they were the three that worked as a team together in a lot of the films through the 30s and 40s and you don't get to see it as often now. It starts off that Mickey is inside a clock tower as well as Goofy and Donald and they are just trying to clean up as best as they could but of course it's not going to go that easy. So each one of them has to deal with a specific antic obstacle to be against them while they're trying to clean this clock. It is a gigantic clock. So with Mickey, he's trying to clean He finds a stork sleeping on his clock piece. So he tries to wake up the stork and it's nice because he is more of that typical traditional Mickey that we have seen modernized where he's like, oh buddy old pal, like nice and not a jerk like in the past. And he actually seems to care about the stork but the stork isn't moving and continues to keep sleeping in different positions. He ends up getting angrier and angrier and he ends up pushing the stork out. The stork ends up going into a boomerang position, flying back, but then capturing Mickey and acting like he's a baby and trying to deliver, but he drops Mickey. So Mickey is outside at this point and he's fine. He just goes back to what he's doing. You then transition into what Donald's doing. And he is working in the middle of the clock piece. I don't know what it's called, but that. <laughs> That's what he's working on. And um, of course, this is where I've talked about before with the traditional Donald cartoons where he gets really angry and the inanimate objects battle against him. And personally, I don't really find that funny. I get frustrated too. It's like the Trix Rabbit, where the Trix Rabbit is all silly old rabbit tricks are for kids and I don't let him get his rat like his cereal. Just let him have his cereal, it's the same thing. I get annoyed, I just want you to be happy. Just let Donald be happy. So with these cartoons, I just get annoyed for Donald's sake and I'm on his side where I don't really find it funny that he's getting beat up even though he gets angry and the more angry he gets. I'm just like, just let him have his thing or let him do his job and, and don't irritate him. I'm on his side. Then you go to Goofy and Goofy is singing and cleaning the bell tower. But it's time for the bell statues to come out and, and hit the gong while he's inside. So he doesn't realize what's happening. He just knows that he's getting hit by this bell while he's inside cleaning it. And that's the joke. And he ends up seeing just in time for the Statue of Liberty to hit it again and continues to say, I wouldn't hit a lady. Um, while she hits him and he basically goes into this whole sleeping coma, sleepwalking skit where he ends up falling off the building but is okay and doesn't die because he keeps tripping over ladders or ropes and um, Mickey also helps save him when he almost dies. He bounces back up from the pole, Mickey captures him and everything is good. They flow all the way back into the tower. End up getting hit by the bells one more time, but they are all okay. They're just in trance, 
such as so. So that's the cartoon. It's a more traditional animation that we're used to and that we all grew up with. That's a little bit more current compared to the 20s that kind of just faded away. I think too because these are all in color and they're a little bit more modernized, we grew up with them still and it was still that traditional vintage Mickey, Donald, Goofy teamwork that it was still relevant growing up with. So it's a really nice cartoon. I enjoyed this one. This is the traditional animation that I am used to and have grown up with so I do appreciate it. Um, if you did like it let me know. Link is in the description as always if you want to check it out yourself. Otherwise I hope you have a magical day as always and I will see you real soon.